Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new series for a game called V Rising. What is V Rising, you might ask? It's basically a survival game as a vampire. Pretty freaking dope game. I, I have played it before. Uh, this will be season two. Uh, there's been lots of updates, though, since the last time I played. This is on Steam for $20. And thank you to developers for sending me a key. Secrets of Gloomrot is the new update. So we're going to check this out. Let me go ahead and play. Obviously, it's got multiplayer. Let me go ahead and play a private game. Under game settings, right? There's all different kinds of rule sets you can do, right? You can actually you can actually start at like level 60 if you want, which is pretty freaking cool and just unheard of in a survival game. But anyway, um, there also are advanced game settings. And I changed three values here. I took the castle heart limitation, which is basically how many castles you can build. And I put it up to five. I took the loot multiplier and I put it to 1.5 and materials yield multiplier 1.5. Okay, I think that's uh, pretty good. Let's get started. Here I am in my coffin. Got to press space bar to wake up. Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> I think I'm pretty evil. I don't know. We're going to start off with some abilities here. We've got the primary attack, which is just, you know, basically a primary attack. We've got this vial of blood attack where you charge and then you do a little more damage and get some health back. You've got like a, I don't know, a missile attack. And then you've got blood rate where you can block stuff. Okay, I'll look at that stuff a little closer later. Uh, you do have your blood pool as well, which you got to keep up. And there's different blood types in the game. And the stronger the blood types, you, I think, if I remember correctly, you get like bonuses or something. Honestly, I don't remember. But you want to get better blood types. And like right now, we'll have things like rats and stuff, which will keep us alive. But it's not a great blood type. Uh, but, you know, we'll get some other stuff along the way. And um, yeah, I remember a lot about this game. I really I do. It was a fun game. Fun game. Looking forward to this update. All right, so we got some bones there. I don't know if I'm supposed to get that. I got to get some bones, but I don't know if I'm supposed to get all the bones in here. Probably not. Probably not. I think it's daytime, so we're going to stay in here for a little bit. This right here will show the daytime. I am a vampire. Doesn't mean I can't go out in the day, but, like, uh, I got to be careful with the sun. You can kind of stay under the trees in the shadows and stuff, and you'll probably be okay. But, yeah, it could get, uh, it can get quite stressful. <laughs> Okay, I remember that Cage Crew really liked this game in multiplayer. I think they have a server up right now, uh, possibly. I think I remember seeing something about them starting up a server for this game. So it's fun multiplayer too. So, all right, and here we are. But we're kind of um, we're kind of in the shadows, I guess, of the mountain behind me. Forget how to turn the camera. Yeah, hold right click to spin the camera around. All right, so there's gonna be some skellies up here. We can also like harvest materials. All right, we're going to have to build a base, you know. Uh, I don't really have an idea where I want to build my base, but you kind of run away. Hit him with this. Oh, it even backs him up a little bit. That's cool. All right. There we go. Fight this guy. All right. And let's charge at him. And that'll give us some extra damage. Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's pick up the bones, and now we got all the bones. We're going to claim, I guess, a reward. I don't really know what I got for it, but now we have to craft a sword and slay enemies using the bone sword. Okay, so crafting. There's the bone sword. Ooh, plague doctor mask. Oh, yeah, the plague doctor mask. Those things with the long noses, man. Some, <clears throat> that's really creepy, dude. That was like a real thing back in the, uh, back in the days of the plague. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. All right, and equipment. Oh, it's already on number one. All right, cool. So let's see what the stats are for this thing. Uh, physical power and physical damage to vegetation. A well-rounded weapon that deals physical damage is greater effect vegetation thickets. Okay, so you want to use this on things like plants. All right, cool. So there is a rat. We're going to pick him up. And once you pick up the rat, you can... Press number two and sacrifice him or suck the blood out of him, and we'll get some more blood pool. So rats are going to be how you're going to, you know, stay alive for a while. The only thing I'm not liking about this game right now is I'm kind of, like, paranoid on where I build my base. I don't want to build my base in a bad spot, but I'm going to build it wherever and just go from there. Okay. There's a guy right there. Right? Yep, there he is. There you go, sucker. Well, a lot of skeletons, man. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Cool. 
I'm at max max health. That's why I didn't get any health back. That guy's slow, but he's probably gonna do a lot of damage if he hits me. Oh, freaking crossbows! Get out of here with that! All right, come on. All right, get out of the way of the crossbows. There we go. Did not expect range attacks. And my help, my hit points are actually down a bit. This thing will help me heal though, a little bit. See, it gives me like one, like my next attack heals me, and then I get leech where I get like some hit points back and stuff. I'm probably not using it properly, but that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and claim. Yet another accomplishment. Craft a bone ring. Hit enemies using shadow bolt. Okay, I already did that. What about that bone ring, huh? Uh, what do we got? Five spell power? Okay. All right. Come on. Come to pop. It's kind of a little bit like a little bit like a light Diablo. Except I can build my own home and I have to worry about the sun. Uh, did that automatically go on me? It did. Flame. Recognize my power. Craft the... Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's like he was just spawning in. Okay, so now we need to craft some armor. So, chest, legs. Where the hell do we get rugged hide from? Okay. I'm not really sure. It's weird it doesn't tell me where to get the rugged hide. I mean, obviously, I oh, you gotta go and kill an animal, but... It's kind of weird that it doesn't tell me, like, you know, get rugged hide or whatnot. Alright, let's keep... Oh, can I open these? Here, hold on, let's kill this jackass. Can I open... Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. So, no rugged hide. It's okay. These guys respawn pretty quickly, man. No joke. Now, if we keep an eye on the guys with the with the crossbows, we can kind of dodge a little bit. Like that. Here we go. Let's grab that rat. And I guess let's go this way. Not really sure where to go here. Where'd that rat go? Oh, that guy's impaled. I didn't even notice that. Nice touch. Yeah, boy. Look at that hit points getting back. I remember getting hit points back. It was a kind of a problem back in the day. All right. Let's go. I'm just going to run through here. I don't think I need to be fighting all these guys. I kind of want to get out of here before it's, uh, before it becomes day. Oops, there we go. Oh, here's the map. Okay. We get to choose what side we start on. Um, I remember starting on this side last time. Let's probably get out of here. I don't know if I'm taking damage or not. I don't think I was when I was in the map screen. Okay. And now we are out in the world. We're coming up on our first, uh, like, teleport thingy. I need to kill some animals because I need to get the uh, uh, the hide. So I don't know if I have to do anything over here to like activate this. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh boy. I can feed on these guys for 5%. Come on. There we go. But I think you got to get them down low enough. There we go. See, I'm sucking out his life force, and he's 6%, where the rats were, like, were, uh, what do you call it, uh, frail. So because the rats were frail, I didn't get anything for them, but this guy, I'm starting to get, you know, movement speed, and you'll get all kinds of bonuses depending on, you know, how good of an animal you've, uh, or whatever you've sucked the life force out of. All right, did I get any, mm, yep, there we go. 
So craft and craft. And while they're crafting, I'll come over here, hold the teleport. Yep, and I can't teleport to anywhere unless I've been there before. Oh, one of the other things I changed uh, was there's like, um, you can only carry certain things when you teleport, kind of like in uh, Valheim. And just like in Valheim, I hate that. So I turn that off so I can teleport with whatever I want. Plane. An achievement to be sure. Uh, craft bone axes and then cut down a tree. Okay. I think I'm going to want to find a place to live before I do any of that. Now, wherever I go to live is going to be a really bad spot, I know. Because I'm not going to, like, know where to where I should be living. But maybe we'll move at some point. Uh, we'll see about that. Dude, he's 48%. Okay. Yes, please. Oh, no, he's 6%. Wait, is it 6%? No, he's 48%. There we go. So now we got increased sun resistance, which is awesome. I'm probably just going to set up in a very early spot. Um, it's still relatively early in the night, so which way would I like to go? Um, I think I want to, like, maybe be somewhere up here. So let's go this way. I found an area that might be an interesting place to build. Uh, this is where I am on the map. Probably not the best place. The best place would probably be more towards the middle of the map. Who knows? But I think for now, this will be a good start. And there is some enemies up here. What can I... Okay, hold on. Oh, boy. Freaking spiders everywhere. Maybe this... Oh, that's... He's got a skull. Okay. That's a creature with a skull. That's not a good idea. All right, fair enough. Let's see if we can get the hell out of here. And the sun's rising. That's awesome. Maybe this isn't the greatest place in the world to build. He's still on me, dude. Come on, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I gotta get out of here. Did he leave me alone? Okay, I guess he did. So, that doesn't look very good. Maybe over here would be better. Oh, hold on. Ugh, forget, what is that? It's a thug. Okay. Okay, sun's, sun's causing me issues. Okay, we'll get him. There we go. Nicely done. Now I just have to stay out of the sun as I go along. You could spend some time in the sun without getting burned. You could kind of hop from, uh... Oh, crap. There's a... We gotta go this way. You can kind of hop from shadow to shadow. Like that. And just kind of hope things work out for you. Oh, that's a long way, dude. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get the... There we go. Cool. Now we can go up this way. Now let's see if there's anything in here that's going to mess with us really badly. I guess we could just start building right here. Yeah, down with it. All right, let's craft some uh, bone axes. Or wait, craft bone axes. Does it mean just one? I imagine it just means one. I don't know why you would need multiple bone axes. Put these guys over here. And here comes the bone axe. Okay, now the problem is cutting down trees is going to mess with my uh, shade. But that's okay. There we go, getting some wood. We gotta cut down three trees. I'm kind of stuck out here, like, in the shadows um, until I can get a uh, a coffin. Once I get a coffin, I can um, sleep in it and pass the, you know, the day. Uh, that's not gonna work. See, I don't want to cut down these trees because they're giving me my, my shade. So I guess we just gotta kind of do what we can from here. Oh, that's pretty good. We got it. We're also getting stone, although probably not... As much stone we get if, as if we're using, like, a hammer. Come on, bro. See, the stone was giving me... Was giving me shade. Alright, there we go. One more. Claiming that reward is gonna give me the recipe for the bone mace, which is probably gonna want me to make next. Yep, okay. I've already smashed rocks. That's fine. Uh, crafting bone mace. And that will probably go as number three. And then we'll smash some stone. I guess I'll just smash these uh, these little stone walls right here. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Now, I might end up turning up my, my settings as far as, like, the amount of resources I get. I'm not really sure. I think I remember back in the day I turned up my settings because it's just, like, in single player, it gets, it gets to be too grindy. But um, you can't do it easily. Like, the game's not set up so you can change your settings once you started the game. But there is ways to do it. So... An achievement, to be sure. Construct and interact with a castle heart. Expand your domain by placing floors. 
All right, that we are probably going to have to wait for the nighttime. Um, and I'm not really sure how to do that. Uh, summon the heart uh, of my domain from this location. Okay. All right. Yep, it's building. Okay. All right, I got everything I need. I'm going to wait until uh, nighttime to do this, though. All right, that looks pretty good. The castle requires more blood. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, there. All right, let's take a look at the castle heart. All right, so... All right, so we need this uh, blood essence. I don't remember how to get blood essence. Uh, I should probably look into that. <laughs> Upgrading the heart. Uh, yep, okay, good. So we now have a base, and I'm not really sure how to get blood essence. Can we just kill stuff? Yep, I just got six essence. I don't think you start getting essence until you put down the castle heart, maybe. Uh, shift click, shift, shift right click. Okay. So it'll be good for 47 minutes. All right. That'll be good enough for now. Uh, I guess we just kill stuff to get the essence. Kind of makes sense. And now we need to open up some more area for more flooring. I'd like to get some walls up and stuff. Uh, for, so I can stay in during the night and not have to worry about the sun. Or during the day. And, you know, it's, it's going to be so weird for me to, like, say, uh, my problem is the night. Because usually, or the problem is the day. Because usually the problem is the night. Like, it's very odd. Uh, Castle Heart status, 47 minutes. Yeah, I got it. I can always turn that off, by the way. The Castle Heart status thing. Um, but I won't, unless it really becomes an issue. I don't think my, like, my castle should, like, just melt away because I don't have any uh, blood stuff in it. But we'll see. I won't do it unless it's uh, obviously going to be a problem. And I don't think it will be. I don't, I don't think it was back in the day when I played this last. Oh, you need blood essence for the floor. Oh, okay. So, all right. So I, I guess I got to get some more blood essence. Damn, that sucks. All right. Well, let's go ahead and nuke a deer. Go. And got him. You have to pick up the blood essence? or I, It feels like I just get it when he's dead. All right. I'm going to look for some more blood essence here. Maybe, can I get him from humans? Yes, I do. Very good. I get tainted hearts as well. How much of how much blood essence was it for a floor? Ooh, it's kind of expensive. I guess I gotta kill a lot of stuff. I did find a human encampment right here, so I'm gonna try and take out some of these guys. Yeah, he's a he's bow. Come on, bro. Alright, got him. It looks like they're weak. I, I don't know. I think something already attacked them. Um, yeah, I'll try and take the rest of them. Why not? Did you see that? He tried to put a... Tried to get me with a net. There you go, tough guy. Missed. Oh, I missed too. Got him. Get him! Oh crap, what is that? Now there's three thugs, I could probably take them? But well, maybe not worth, maybe not a good idea. I will try and avoid them as best I can. Seems like they're gonna walk right by. The problem is they're going in my general direction. The direction I need to go in. So that could cause some issues. Uh, what is that? Oh, a Thug by himself, huh? You don't say. Give me my hit points. Got him. Get him. I think I'm gonna take. I'm gonna try and take all three of those guys. Cause they are in my way. And they're walking slow. You're too slow. I could probably take three of them. Although, it looks like they're going in the up opposite direction, so... Alright, you guys... You guys will live this time. What's the matter, Sylvie? My cat's acting... Acting up. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> it might be time to... 
Might be close to feeding time. Uh, one thing I don't like about this game is you can't pause the game, so I can't just pause it and go feed my cat, which is really, really awful. Yeah, like, wait, can you pause it? I'm sorry, guys. I take that back. I think you can pause it. No, you can't. It's moving. No, you can't. Okay, well. All right, well, let me put down some floors. All right, I put down a few floors. Let's go ahead and claim a reward, which will unlock the walls and structures oh, blueprints. To be sure. Protect the territory of placing palisades. Place a wooden coffin. Place a stash. Okay, let's do the palisades first. Actually, we probably gotta do more floors first. Floor, 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 floor. Okay. Now we got a nice little uh, three by three. Uh, we will look at walls or yeah, walls. Palisades. Okay. Oh, these are, can we make stone ones? I thought we could make stone ones. Um. Palisade. Palisade entrance. Okay. I thought we could make stone ones, but I'm not really sure how. So, I guess we'll just make these for now. And we're going to have to clear out some stuff. Um, yeah, I, I don't... I, I'm pretty sure I never I never built wood, but I could be mistaken. And, uh, you know, that's fine. Um, I'm hesitant to cut down the trees because they are my only source of uh, shade. If uh, <laughs> if it becomes day and I'm not ready, which it probably it probably will, but maybe I can get maybe I can get one roof going at least. And it wants me to make a coffin, which will help as well. All right, so wall, wall. Now, can I make a roof yet? So they don't even give me the opportunity to make roofs. Yeah. Okay, that's a bummer. All right, one more palisade. Maybe that should be a door. Now yeah, we'll make that a regular wall. All right, now we need to do the coffin. Which will be a cancel foundation production coffin. And let's put it right there for now. And then it wants me to make a stash. Which, uh, lighting production, castle, walls. I don't see how to make a stash. We can make a brazier though. Let's do that. Okay. Now, how do we make a. St oh, storage. Okay, got it. Makes sense. And Q to rotate. We're going to put it like that. So we could fit quite a bit of them in there. And let's claim. Basic crafting and refinement. Yet How do I put the roof on? That's, that's what I want to know. Um, castle. Walls. Is there automatically a roof? No, there's not automatic roof on it. Why wouldn't they give me the opportunity to make a roof? I guess they want me to suffer in the sun for a while. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so what would you like me to do? A sawmill. Production. Crafting. Sawmill. We're going to need... Wait. Simple workbench. No. We need sawmill. Uh, refinement. There we go. Furnace. Sawmill. We're going to need some more... Oh, 400 wood. Holy crap. All right. So it is daytime. I will try not to sleep if I don't have to. But we might have to. Uh, we should have enough for this now. So... Oh, boy. Okay. Put that right there. There we go. All right, and it looks like we're gonna have to sleep. Maybe I can grab resources. Is there any reason not to sleep? The castle heart thing, maybe. 220. Let's see if that works on real lifetime. We'll have to sleep. Okay, so is it 220? Press space to wake up. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's go to sleep. So basically, I don't eat or drink. My blood, my, the amount of blood I need could be a problem if it, if it like, but it doesn't seem like it's making the day go by any quicker. I don't know because I don't see a clock. Maybe sleeping in your coffin doesn't make the day go by quicker. I'm thinking it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it does too much. All right. I mean, it does get me out of the sun, but it doesn't do anything else for me. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to creep around in the shadows and continue gathering resources. We should have just enough planks now to make our workbench. So I'm going to take down a couple more trees here, and then we're going to work on our workbench. Everything's looking pretty good. We just need to get the roof pieces in so we can, you know, um, start building. I, I also might wait for stone walls. I feel like I feel like last time I didn't build with wood walls. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Maybe I just forgot. All right, so this is the sawmill. You simply put the wood in here, and it makes you your planks. And that should be enough for the... Oh, need a couple more. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So this is uh, taking wood, and it's making planks and sawdust. 
It can also, um, uh, we can get some oil from it. How do, how do I do that though? Do I have to like, shoot? oh, that's bigger wood. That's different wood. That's hollow wood. Okay. And then gloom wood. Oh, gloom wood. That's one of the new things. We also got cursed wood. So there we go. Um, I'm going to split this in half, put 250 in there to get some more planks. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a workbench. Darn it. Uh, rotate it Q and E. Oh, man. There we go. Eh. I think I can move this stuff later. Oh, that's right. Okay. Now I've got, um, I've got a chest over there. I don't want to put that there. Uh, maybe it'll go. Yeah, that looks good right there. All right. Simple workbench. Oh, look at that. So basically the way this game works is your gear score. It's kind of like your level. It's, it's your gear score. It's, um, based on what kind of gear you're wearing and that, that, you know, when you, when I, when you saw the thugs I was attacking, they were level 16. I was level 10. Um, that's why. Also, it depends on what weapon you're holding. If you're holding a, a weapon, you know, your gear score will go up. If you're not holding a weapon, it'll go down. You can see right there, increase your gear level, um, gear level by crafting stronger equipment. So there we are. We're at 10 of 15. So we need to see what we want to do here. Uh, we need more planks. Should I go for armor? Uh, 22 max health, 33. So does, does armor give you armor? I don't think it does. I think it gives you max health only. I'm not really sure. By the way, that's like a set. That plated bone guard stuff, that's like a set. It's freaking cool. Oh, and it uses your old armor. Interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, Yeah, I guess we'll just make this stuff. That's all we can make. We need more, more hide. But that should get our gear score up where it needs to be. Uh, why am I at 8? Oh, because it didn't put the armor back on, did it? Is it in the workbench? Yeah, it is. There we go. Oh, we're only at 12. Okay. So we just need some more planks. Alright, grab that. And we'll grab this. Uh, the spear is made for fighting creatures. So I'll make the spear. And that should put me up to 15. There we go. Claim a reward. We got unlocks blood tracking. That's going to allow us to find the bosses in the game. There's all kinds of bosses out there, and you need them to unlock, uh, you know, things. So, what is this? This doesn't ring a bell. Your gear level 15. Level 20. Oh! So as your gear level goes up... Alpha Wolf. Oh, yeah, these are the, these are the, uh, the Alpha Wolf. That, that wolf I found earlier? I gotta kill that thing. So, what does it want me to do? Track blood using the, the, the V blood menu. Uh, V blood menu. Uh, none of these look like a... I guess it's this. Let me click on them. And then we go to track blood. Okay. I think we are going to do that next episode, though. Uncover knowledge uh, and new powers by drinking the blood of the carrier. Okay. When do I get to make roofs? <clears throat> I want to make roofs, man. Maybe I can, and I'm just not... I'm just not seeing how. I don't know. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is we are going to call this one here. Guys, if this seems like an interesting game to you, make sure you let me know in the comments. I will be happy to do more. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. And, um, you know, don't forget to leave the likes and uh, subscribe, maybe. If you're not subscribed, about half of you aren't, and uh, it really helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.